How are we going guys? Thanks for clicking on that button and watching my video. My name's Stuart, if you're new to my channel, and I'm off to Lot Lomond. Oh, I'm not a big kid. I've not been back to Lot Lomond for... Oh, it's been a while. But we're going to a boffy, I think. I think I'm going to a boffy. Doing buyer. That's the plan. It is bucketing a rain. It's seven degrees. It's lovely Scotty weather. Look. Look at that. I had to go to the shop and get some waterproofs because my waterproofs ripped. So I went to my usual sports direct. They'll do me further now, the waterproofs. I need to get a better pair, but they'll do. So I'm off to Lot Lomond. Here, you take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll be in Scotland before you. Yeah. I made it to Lot Lomond, guys. Um, but they took me two and a half hours to get 60 miles, but there we go. Brian! Brian! Oh, hey, how are you? Yes. Is that for me? That's the Drovers, guys. It's like 800 year old or something. Old building. That says I made it to. Uh, Lot Lomond. It took me longer than I thought, but Bean Glass Farm. I'm at Bean Glass Farm. That's the Invisible Man. <laughs> he's, in, he's invested into one of these uh, balaclavas. <laughs> this is where we're parting, Bean Glass Farm, and then we're walking over that way to the Boffy. Waiting for Brian. Always bloody waiting for him. He's always the last one. Come on, Brian! I'm right behind. Hurry up! Awesome is this, guys? Look, little pond over there. I think that says we're about uh, halfway. I think we have to climb over there and then we go through. There's uh, Brian, he's trekking away on in front. I've just stopped for a little breather. Bloody heavy. Is that bloody toilet paper? That must yeah. be like two ton. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Bothy. Dun Dunbyer Bothy, guys. In the summertime, you can get a ferry across the loch or lock, whatever way you want to say it. That's the the Arloe Hotel on the other side. So we've walked, I don't know, three, four miles to get here. Awesome. Lovely. And there's uh, two guys here as well. They're uh, Dutch or French or something. And they've got the fire gun. There's uh, Brian over there. Oh, 
Is that the line that you don't cross, Brian? Huh? Is that the line that you don't cross? No, it's actually the hangship. Oh, I never thought of that. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's a washing line, isn't it? Exactly. I never thought of that. Oh, we're stupid, am I? Right, that's why I'm here to help you. I just jump around all of Scotland if I could explain it the best. We don't really have set locations, but we're mostly drawn up here Lock Lockland because it's easy to get to from Glasgow. So you think talking anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half to um, 45 minutes to get to wherever you want to be. Just myself pints to wash it down or I didn't put it again. <laughs> yeah, I've got them. That's what I thought. I've got my usual. And the, the crazy spice and noodles. It's all mines, all mines. <laughs> Go there. Come here, buddy. Is that half a cow you've got there, Brian? Yeah, half cow. You know, up on the way. It, it looks a lot bigger seeing that pan. I know. It's huge. It makes it's a it big look ass massive. Pan. I know. It's like, <sighs> look, at <that. laughs> look at the size of this thing. I can't even go. How many days do you anticipate doing the trail in? Uh, probably seven, I think. It's not bad. Yeah, I wouldn't take it easy because over two weeks and it's not bad. Um, yeah, that's, that's good there because then you can uh, post up in some of the bodies and stuff like that. Yeah, so we'll take it easy. Yeah, it was the last night in the yard. Yeah, the other one? Buffy, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah Usually, cool. I don't think you're going to run into any more after this on the trail. I think there's one more. It's kind of like Buffy. Oh. The one more. It's just the... It's just vodka. It's generic vodka. I walked in the plant with the mate, that stuff. My stomach's fucking with me already. He's an American shite bag. I'm on... I'm on... Is that a tin of spam that I can see there? I'm doing the job of three people. That's a tin of spam. Tin of spam there. I'm actually doing an organic... You do know that'll give you cancer, that stuff, don't you? Oh, it's full of castle genetics. Is that what they're called? Castle genetics? I don't know. Something like that. Do you know sitting next to that fire will give you cancer as well? I went into a head shop just to pick up some scales because I didn't want to find out they'd get ripped off the whole place before it's grown. The Bothy TV. And I have to go home and go on YouTube and you look for the Scottish Wanderer and we'll find him. You don't mind being on a video, do you, Stefan? I have you, I have you what? He's filming, do you mind no. it? YouTube. He's now he's filming you in an awkward way. You don't mind, do you? No? Yeah, I'm okay. American Brian. Alright, guys, again. Drinking his bevy. And his booze. I only drink when I'm camping. Yeah. Go, okay. There we've got the. the. the Bothy TV. Got the invisible man over there. Mm. Well, then, I think it's about eight o'clock. Great night's sleep. Uh, all we've done is kind of chatting, sitting around the fire type thing. I didn't do much filming of it, but... Lovely. This is a little bothy that we're in. Dunbar. Ben Lomond is back that way. Uh, that's the Alloy Hotel over here. So, we've walked. That's the side you'll be on if you go to Glencoe, all the way up that way. So if you want to come here, you have to walk round this way. And there's a path, that path there, which is part of the West Highland Way. So anybody that's done the West Highland Way will have passed this mountain bothy. 
Look at that view of the loch. Awesome. So, I'm going to have some breakfast. Bacon and eggs. Mm -hmm. What a view guys, look at that. There's the boffy that we're in, it's just down there. Yeah. Um, there's a, they've got this abandoned building, apparently some pop star owned it. He bought it and he was putting like bathroom suites and all that kind of thing and fancy stuff. And then he discovered this is a mountain, mountain boffy and people would be coming through and staying here. And people, obviously he's wanting really quiet retreats. So. Apparently it's been left abandoned for 30 years now. I'm leaving the bar for you guys. Uh, Brian and Mark's at the back there. And we met Maya, she's from Germany. We're, uh, we're all going to Glencoe now. This is the path. There we go guys, I'm at the Clen Larch Hotel. Uh, we're just at the Boffy, didn't buy a Boffy. But now we're on our way to the King's House Hotel. I'm back in there. That's me, made it to Glencoe. I'm just uh, camping behind the uh, King's House Hotel. It's the two big mountains. Uh, I reckon I'll probably camp here, next to the car. There's some good spots on the road as well. But awesome. This is great. It's my tent set up, took like 10 minutes as usual, but that'll be my view in the morning. Can't beat that can you, for a view. 
Time to get some water, guys, and have another brew. But awesome. There's a uh, where Brian's camping over there. Brian camping there. And Mark's camping behind uh, Brian's blue van. So, water time. For anybody that doesn't know, this is where uh, Skyfall, the James Bond film, was filmed over here. Look at that, that is, that is awesome. I really, it doesn't matter how many times I come and camp here, it is like awesome. Look, unbelievable. You can't beat that, can you? Look at that for a view. That's what you call a view. What? We're just chilling down here by the little river. Yeah, that's where the hotel is. We're uh, camping over there. But we're down here taking some pictures. Yeah, Mark's away over there. But awesome. Dinner time, guys. I'm having uh, the breakfast pack for my for my dinner. I got it reduced. Look. I've not had anything today. I was camping yesterday as well, and I've just had some noodles. So. I've done a lot of walking, so I thought I would have my breakfast. I'm sure I've deserved it after the walking we've done. Getting to the boffy. There we go guys, I've got some sausage on the go. I've also got myself some two pieces of black pudding and two pieces of fruit pudding. This is my view from my tent, look. 
got my dinner cooking here. I've got that view just at the back of the king's house, and then you've got the the mountain over there. Look at that, loving the dream. You can't beat this, can you? Just being out here, like just sitting here. Oh, it really is the best thing ever. I know I'll probably say that 20 million times, but awesome. I really do love this. There's my dinner ready guys, two pieces of sausage, two pieces of black pudding, two pieces of fruit pudding, and it's all mines, all mines. There's, there's Mark taking pictures, he's videoing I think, he's probably videoing for YouTube, so I'm videoing Mark, videoing Self, so I'm going to go and eat my my dinner. And chill. I think we'll need to get the fire going as well. But yeah, I know I've said this 20 times, but look at that view. Amazing. But yeah, I'm off on away. I'm going to go and have my dinner. for a cup of tea guys. Yeah, I've cleaned my, my dinner off. Delicious. Oh god. Yes, was it is. It's quick. Okay. Yes, the fire going. I'm using a when I'm out fire lighters. How did you make them, Mark? Candle wax, one but as a cotton cotton pad and one of the tea tree lights with Vaseline, then poured wax over it, then put a wick. So I'll just so that's got Vaseline in it. That oh, yeah. I'll fluff that out. That should take a spark, shouldn't it? It should. That's what I planned. Never, never tried this, so I'll it might fail. <laughs> ah, there we go. Cook me gas, as you say. It should burn for a while or two, eh?
That wood must be wet, the, the kindling that you found there. I think so. They'll be bone dry, they'll go up in seconds. I chipped my axe <laughs> I went too hard and went right through it and hit the rock. Did you? Yeah. I've shaved it back now, it's got a nice edge on it again. Well, I've just got a cheap axe. This is one of those ten pound ones. That's the job though, doesn't it? I, I do want a Granford Brooks, but I've not got one yet. Not a Granford Brooks, ah. Uh, uh, starts with the H. The Holt 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 sorry. Holt Holt one. I've heard the Granford Brooks rolls the edges. Yeah. And it's dearer as well, so. Is it? I think the the Grandford Brooks is like eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. Yeah, I think the Holtfors one's only like forty. I think. Yeah. That's what I've been told by people that that know about axes, so. Well, there's a fire going good. Just using uh, pieces of pine that I had in my car. And uh, little round pieces of pine that Brian brung. But that'll be us. Chilling round the fire. I'll be climbing that spot right there. But look at that. What a view that is. There's a moon. It was a full moon, but the cl the clouds has uh, covered. Yeah, I've got my campfire. What else could I do? Spam dance! <laughs> and Scottish Wanderers way to do a dance. <laughs> Indian dance, you've got to chant as well. <laughs> Bookieville in the... Is it Bookieville? Is that how you pronounce it? Bookieville? Chilling by that fire, guys. <clears throat> Absolutely roasting. Nice little fire. Uh, 
my view from the tent guys what a view there is another mountain over that side but there's a van there so I can't show you that one but look at that lying here in my tent looking at the view I brought my chef all the way from Hello. South Carolina. Yeah, well, can I use uh, the fork or something just for a quick? Nice. Yeah. What are we having, Brian? Bacon? Bacon and eggs this morning, folks. Bacon and eggs. eggs. This is a simple one. We don't got no bread for toast, though, sadly. There's Matt lying in his tent. <laughs> he's hot, so he's got no t shirts on. Look at where's you. Look at that. You can't beat that, can you? I'm finding out, right? Looking good. Almost there. It's not all yours today, Stuart. <laughs> yeah, not all yours today, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, I need to share it. People keep saying to me that I need to share my food, don't they, Mark? Yeah. I keep getting comments on YouTube, so I'm sharing it with uh, Brian and uh, Mark. But I'm having the spam. That's all mine's. <laughs> <laughs> Leftover grill taste on the eggs tastes good. I might get some likes now. I know. <laughs> What's that? Oh my. Is he allergic to this stuff? No. You sure? It's called a grape. You ever had? Not that's the first, yeah, first time. Hmm. Strawberry That's what they call a strawberry. They grow in the fields here on like little vines oh, and they yeah. taste delicious. <laughs> That's what I was pitched, guys. No trace. Just the usual, all my rubbish has been taken away. Some more people have come in to camp. Now I think we're going to uh, the Lost Valley. So that should be good. That's us leaving to go to the Lost Valley. There's where we've left the cars, and it's right up through there. So there's a the path. Where the trees are. There, you go all the way up and in. Apparently, you go up a little higher than down into the valley. So, I'll see you there, guys.
that's us almost at the top, I think. We've got the last bit to go. Look bit over there, and then up you go. Swirling round on the, the cliffs as well. Don't know what they were. Yeah. Too far away, but you just see them going round in circles just at the, the cliff edge. Oh, yeah. Quite big birds, so. There we go, guys. I made that to the Lost Valley. Look at this. There's Mark up there taking pictures. That's the way that you come over that ridge. Over there. Down you come. There's uh, Brian and Justin, his girlfriend. All night, all night. Every program. That last one was good. The, the blonde last day. What was her name again? Did you watch the last one? We went through. Uh, it because it's a new series. Is there a new series? Oh, we didn't know that. We went through the XLs and everything. Sorry. There we go, we've got Brian the fire starter. I'm a twisted fire starter. <laughs> the master. He's always got to take over. I think that one needs to come in. He doesn't let anybody else light the fires. <laughs> like, he's even laughing as well. This guy knows exactly what he's like. Because we're going to get a cup. <laughs> that is my cup. <laughs> there we go, guys. We're getting a cup of tea. Look at that. In the Lost Valley. In the rain. What more do you need? There's the valley. I don't know if I'd camp up here, to be honest. It's quite a... It's quite a hard slug for me to get up here, but... It's the... It's the valley. I found it quite hard getting up, but... I'm not a mountain climber, am I? I know it's not a mountain, but... I felt like a mountain. Felt like a mountain to me. <laughs> the name of it, but that is you can cut. You can go up that way and across it because you can hit all these three points in one I day. Think it doesn't look as high obviously we're already but, high up as it is. So it's just trying to judge it. I think it's, so, it's somewhere around 1100 if I remember right. Yeah. Somewhere close to 1100. That's probably what. About, oh, what 300, 400 feet. Uh, I'd say about 450. Up to it. That's the way back down guys, right our way down to the bottom there. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> okay. That's us, we made it down past the, the kind of ridge part. I think we're about halfway now. 
on the home straight. You get to that rock at the top there and you think you're at the summit, but it's a false summit. You've got to continue for just about the same again. But yeah, pretty cool. I did enjoy being up there. It was amazing being up there. I've seen videos of people been up there, like Fair Wanderer and uh, Scottswell Camper. And, uh, I'm sure other people have been up there. Uh, oh, that's the dodgy bit I'm coming to. There we go, guys. I'm not going to lie, that was the hardest bit. That bit, there's a bit of scrambling in that. Well, it was hard for me, I'm sure. People that are good at mountain and hill walking, it'll be easy, but... What have you? What have you? There's a mountain that we've just uh, came from. That one. Up there. That's the three sisters. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, I can't put the that one. That one. It's amazing just sitting here looking at the mountains. The pictures and videos don't do it justice. For anybody that's not been to Glencoe, you need to come and visit. You'll be amazed. Awesome. That's the road that you can hear at the back there. but. Thanks for watching guys, please give me a, a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Here's a couple of videos up the top that you might like you might want to watch. Thanks guys.